Despite multilateral agreements on the distribution of COVID vaccines, many countries, including the UK, US and Germany, are already buying stockpiles of inoculations. The first Americans to receive a jab could get it as soon as the 11th of December. That's according to the head of the US coronavirus vaccine program. But how will these candidate vaccines that need to be kept in very specific conditions be distributed around the world? Lena Roche reports. The development of COVID-19 vaccines has sparked hope worldwide. But how do you deliver millions of doses? Fraport at the Frankfurt Airport has been working on this question since March. One additional logistical challenge is that the vaccine developed by BioNTech has to be kept at a temperature of minus 70 to minus 80 degrees Celsius during the transport. The cooling chain cannot be interrupted, otherwise the vaccine is compromised. For larger quantities, we also check processes to load the containers directly at the producer's premises, so to speak. Then the containers are being driven into temperature-controlled trucks in the tarmac, from where they're loaded and dispatched directly onto the aircraft, so that the breaks and the time the containers are ultimately exposed to environmental influences are minimal. The idea is to bring the doses to vaccination centers, where they can be kept in a fridge for up to five days and administered. Frankfurt Airport is an ideal shipment point, as many producers of the vaccine are located in the area. But there's still a hurdle. You cannot load an entire plane with a cargo that is cooled at minus 70 to minus 80 degrees Celsius for security reasons. When we're at the minus 70 range, I assume that we'll have to have mixed flights, because we can't fill an airplane completely with dry ice containers. This is because the dry ice is frozen CO2, which is sublimated during the flight to maintain the temperature so that it changes back into a gaseous state and the CO2 concentration on board of the aircraft increases. Not all countries are equipped to deal with such a special high-freeze shipment. Right now, only 25 countries worldwide have the required infrastructure. The limiting factors here are indeed the capacities at the receiving stations at airports in the developing countries, whether there are sufficient cooling facilities available. In these countries, it's particularly important to work closely with the authorities. There are some receiving countries in which the customs are notorious for holding up pharmaceutical shipments for a long, long time, and thus endangering the integrity of the product. And it must be clarified beforehand that they will not be caught up in customs. Once COVID-19 vaccines who can be stored at fridge temperature are approved, the sky is the limit. Fraport at Frankfurt Airport alone could fly out every day millions of doses. Lena Roche for Euronews.